as we all know we need this world to move to decarbonization we need all our most polluting sectors to move to the green energy and renewable energy. in order to move in this direction what we need is to change our minds and to focus in new possible ways in order to store and use this energy. But on one hand, as we all know and we are used to it, there's the electrification. Okay, we perfectly know that this is possible through batteries, uh, basically uh, storage of electricity in batteries in order to use it. And by the other hand, there's something wrong in their bat that it's entering very hard in the energy sector that is hydrogen. Hydrogen storage in order to use this hydrogen as a energy vector in order to use this, this energy to move any kind of vehicle. Let's say light vehicles, heavy duty vehicles, aerospecial, marine, etc. So in order to move in this direction, we also need to improve the technology that is uh, allowing us to move to hydrogen uh, mobility. What we need is to try to improve most of the components that are used in these proton exchange membrane fuel cell engines. At the end here, this is a common race. We are all of us running in the same direction. And the topic is that all the manufacturers and suppliers of components for this proton exchange membrane fuel cell sector need to improve our components in order to allow this technology to grow, to improve, and at the end, to be viable for a commercial world. By our side, what we're trying to do is to improve the hoses. The hoses means these specific connectors that are connecting one component to another. And at the end, the ones that connect the whole system among all the different components of this system. The topic is these kind of hoses or these connectors, they already exist in this market. The topic is that the hoses that we are using until the moment are static hoses. So hoses that are not flexible. What we're trying to provide here is a solution that would allow this engine to absorb vibration, to absorb more movement. What we need here is something that could adapt to the different movements, to the different dynamics of this engine. Proton exchange membrane fuel cells, engines, kind of engines that use an electrochemical reaction in order to provide this energy. Of course, this is totally opposite to the internal combustion engines that we are used to, to use in any kind of machine, vehicle, whatever. What we have done until the moment is to reuse most of the components that we already knew from this past sector, let's say the internal combustion engine one, and we are reusing and recycling some of these components to reuse it in the fuel cell engines. But at the end, this is just recycling it. Of course, we cannot achieve the maximum profitability, the maximum efficiency if we are reusing these components. What we need to do here is to start investigating, creating, developing new solutions specifically for this sector. Because at the end, what we want here is to improve the maximum efficiency of this engine in order to allow it for the commercial market. So as we said, what we need here are kind of solutions that can adapt to the requirements of the customer while they can adapt to the typical dynamics, movements, vibrations of the vehicles. So what we need here is something that can adapt to the specific requirements of the PEM fuel cells but by the other hand being flexible. So this is what we are trying to provide here. We're trying to provide a flexible solution with respect to the flexibility of the material, but as well with respect to the requirements of the customer. The barriers or the most important requirements that we have to overcome in this sector are basically three of them. So by the one hand, there's permeability. By the other hand, there's purity and cleanliness for sure and by the other hand, conductivity. As said, not only with the current 
materials that we already had in this industry. But because as we said, these are just recycled, reused materials. What we have to do is to create new solutions, pre-approach the idea. When we're talking about M fuel cells, the materials that are being used until the moment are by the one hand FKM, that means a fluorocarbon material, and by the other hand, two kinds of silicons. By the one hand, the typical kind of silicons that we are used to see in different kind of engines, that, are, that is peroxide carrier silicon, and by the other hand, what is called the pharma grade silicon, that is platinum cured silicon, which has a bit higher purity than peroxide pure silicon one. As said, these are good solutions for sure, and at the end, we are adapting to this market. This is good, but this is not something specifically created for this market. So, what we have done in our company is to create, to develop a new solution, a new idea, specifically for this market. As we said, the maximum requirements are permeability, purity, cleanliness, and conductivity. So what we have done, it's a material that can withstand and overcome the features of all the older materials that are used in this industry, specifically for PEM fuel cells. We have been working in PEM fuel cell sector for around eight years until now. And our research and development department has been developing this new material during the last five years, together with our customers and partners. Of course, what we have done is to provide them some samples, get feedback by, by their side, and at the end understand which are their requirements to specifically create this solution for them. So at the end, this is a totally market-focused material. So, as we said, what we need here is to create a final product, something that can totally fulfill and overcome the requirements of the sector, something that can totally overcome the features of the current materials in the industry. So, let's take a look deeply on which are the requirements on this industry and which are the results that we are getting with this new material. Melapemcel is the result of years of study, research and development where we analyzed uh, all the materials used in this sector for the manufacturing of hoses, make, uh, making special attention on, the, on all the specifications and all the requirements of, of this demanding technology in order to develop a material that can fit any part of the system and fit all of those requirements. FKM and silicon are both materials uh, widely used in this sector for the manufacturing of hoses. Those uh, materials are also used in other industries, but they found a place in this, in this sector also, uh, even though they are not specifically formulated for this purpose. Depending on the nature of these materials, we can find them either in the anode site, the cathode site, or the cooling system lines. During these years, we have been working, and thanks to the feedback of some of the main companies from the foil cell sector, in order to develop a material that can fulfill all the requirements of this uh, technology, uh, especially in terms of high purity and low permeability. Low hydrogen permeability is maybe one of the most uh, important requirements for this technology and especially for host manufacturing. Uh, since this gas is like four times, uh, it's around four times more explosive than gasoline. Also, the hydrogen molecules are really small and they easily penetrate inside the material matrix, leaving a permanent damage on them. FKM is a well-known material for its low permeability. Standard hoses for this sector implies a little thin layer of FKM and all the rest is silicon. Silicon is a really porous material that brings us to a reduction of the permeability of the whole system. By using Benapem cell as the only material in the host construction, we can achieve the reduction of half the permeability of FKM containing hoses, avoiding serious leaking of hydrogen. Purity is uh, also a very important point uh, and a point of concern in the pencil project. Structures like halogens or siloxanes or even sulfurs can be easily found in materials such as FKM, silicon, or even stainless steel. Also, some organic substances and metallic ions that can change the pH and the conductivity of the medium inside the hoses. Benapemcel imparts almost no conductivity to the medium inside the hoses. 
Benapemsel has been developed to have the lowest range of extractables from all the materials used for the manufacturing of houses in the fuel cell sector. The way we measure purity is by material immersion in a fluid at its boiling temperature during several hours. That causes swelling and leaching of substances from the material to the media. Then we analyze all those components by mass spectroscopy and iron and gas chromatographies. As a result, we have developed the purest material for any part of the fuel cell system. Of course, we have focused this new material, the Benapem cell, in order to fulfill all the requirements and even overcome the features that we already had with silicon or any other kind of elastomeric material. So of course, what we have with this material is the possibility to mold the shapes so that we can do any kind of shape. And of course, we also have the possibility to customize the color. For sure, as we all know in this, uh, in this sector, normally it is required to use blue for the DA water and cooling system, to use green for the cathode, that is for oxygen or for air, and to use red for the anode side. So of course, we can also customize this color as well as the shapes as you already saw. This new material is included to the already existing family of hoses, constructions and materials that we already have for M-Field Sales Industry. As you probably know, we already have three different constructions that we are using for fuel cells. One done with FKM, the other one with platinum cured silicon and the other one with penoxid cured silicon. Then this new material, that is the Benantem cell, is also included in this range of solutions, specifically for BAM fuel cells, with whom we can provide solutions for the anode, the cathode, the cooling and the DI water system. In all this range of products, specifically for BAM fuel cells industry, we apply very specific production processes that can improve the results and the characteristics of this material, specifically when talking about fuel cells. So, for example, we apply a post-curing process specifically to reduce the amount of leachables and, of course, this type of critical contaminants that can damage the membrane. Of course, we also apply two cleaning processes within the production process, one during and one after the production process. We also, of course, just after this hose is clean, we also cap and uh, close this hose with some taps so that this hose is totally closed and no dust, no atmospheric dirt can enter this hose so that they can pollute the internal layer of the hose. So what we are doing with that is that we are ensuring the maximum possible purity for all these hoses so that the customer will, will receive it and they can open it. It will be the first time it is open just after the moment it was cleaned. As you have seen, we have been working in this proton exchange membrane fuel source industry since about eight years ago with projects in research and development department for more than five years from now so that at the end right now we have the knowledge and we think we have the technology. It is not only that we think it, is that we have evidences that this new material that we have created is the one, the correct one, that can fulfill and can overcome all the requirements of this market. So, of course, if you ask us information in one of our more than 30 delegations all around the world, we'll provide you information, samples, analysis, tests, whatever you need in order to validate this product and to introduce it in your fuel subsystem. So, if you enter our website, you will find all the information related to this product and this industry. And of course, if you have any doubt, any question, you can ask one of our sales guys. You will also find there all the information about the contacts of all the delegations we have all around the world and a specific sales guy. And of course, a very specific technician for fuel cells industry will contact you and will explain you all the information related to our products. We really think that according to our, uh, well, huge range of products, we'll be able to provide you the exact solution for your requirements.